Rigging Station, presented by Diamond Fishing Products, makers of the finest monofilament and braided fishing line in the world. Hey guys, welcome to this episode's Rigging Station. We're out here daytime sword fishing, having a blast. We put a fat pumpkin in the boat early this morning, pulled a hook on another slob, just maybe 30, 40 feet away from the boat. That was devastating, but it's gonna happen if you come out here day timing. I wanted to spend a minute and talk to you more about the tackle that we're fishing. It's really important that your gear is bulletproof if you expect to achieve any level of success. It all starts with the reel. We're fishing both an LPS 1200, the workhorse of daytime sword fishing, along with a hooker electric mounted on an International 80 wide. This is a great option with complete reel functionality and an extremely powerful variable speed motor. Both reels are mounted on custom Chaos 100-pound class deep drop rods and are loaded with 3,000 yards of 70-pound diamond braid. From there, we connect a 150-foot long, 250-pound test wind-on leader with a simple loop-to-loop -loop connection. There's a small loop on the wind-on just below the Dacron, which is where we connect our 10, 12, or 15-pound lead. The wind-on leader is finished off by crimping on a 300-pound test Mamoy ball bearing snap swivel, but not before we slide three Duraloom strobe lights on the line that are fixed at different intervals from the bait with rigging bands. The flashing lights attract squid and, of course, swordfish. When it's time to fish, we simply connect a fresh strip bait or squid rigged on six feet of 300-pound high catch to the snap with a heavy-duty ball bearing barrel swivel and we're ready to drop. I'll tell you, it's really important that all of your connections are perfect. If something doesn't look right, it isn't right. Retie it, recrimp it, re-rig it. Do whatever you need to do as many times as you need to do it to make sure that the end result is bulletproof. Because I'll tell you something about these broadbill swordfish, they're super strong, they can get super big, and any weakness, any weakness whatsoever you have in your entire setup, they will exploit. I can tell you that for sure.